Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, we will talk about the modern concepts of health. We will talk about different definitions of health and evaluate them critically, and we will also talk about models and dimensions of health. What is health? Health is a complex and multifaceted concept that has been defined and redefined over the years by many different individuals and organizations. The World Health Organization defined health in 1948 as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. This definition has been widely accepted and has influenced health policy and practice around the world. However, it has also been subject to criticism and debate. On the one hand, the WHO's definition of health has been praised for its comprehensive and holistic approach to health. It recognizes that health is more than just the absence of disease or illness and includes social and mental well-being as important components of health. This definition has been used to promote a more inclusive and equitable approach to health, focusing not just on curing diseases, but also on promoting healthy behaviors and lifestyles. However, the WHO's definition of health has also been criticized for its idealistic and unattainable nature. The concept of complete physical, mental and social well-being is difficult to achieve and for many people it may be impossible. Additionally, the emphasis on well-being may overlook the realities of illness and disability, which are an inevitable part of the human experience. Furthermore, some critics argue that the WHO's definition of health is too broad and all-encompassing, making it difficult to measure or evaluate. While the definition provides a comprehensive framework for understanding health, it does not provide a clear roadmap for achieving it. This has led some to argue that a more narrow definition of health is needed, one that focuses on specific health outcomes or objectives. Another criticism of the WHO's definition of health is that it is too individualistic and does not take into account broader social determinants of health. The definition places a great deal of emphasis on personal behaviors and lifestyle choices, but it does not acknowledge the role that social, economic and political factors play in shaping health outcomes. This can lead to an over-reliance on individual responsibility and blame for poor health rather than addressing the structural and systemic issues that contribute to health disparities. What are some other definitions of health? René Dubois, a microbiologist and author, defined health in his book that was first published in 1959 as health is primarily a measure of each person's ability to do and become what he wants to become. He also defines health as a quality of the whole person rather than the absence of disease. This definition emphasizes the idea that health is not just the absence of illness or disease, but a state of overall well-being that encompasses physical, mental and social dimensions. Similarly, Aristotle, an ancient Greek philosopher, believed that health was not simply the absence of disease, but a state of balance and harmony between the body, mind and environment. He also emphasized the importance of lifestyle factors such as diet, exercise and mental attitudes in maintaining health. Mahatma Gandhi, a political and spiritual leader, believed that health was more than just physical well-being. He viewed health as a holistic concept that encompassed mental, emotional and spiritual aspects, as well as social and environmental factors. He also emphasized the importance of individual responsibility in maintaining health, 
as well as the need for social and economic justice to address underlying determinants of health. Mahatma Gandhi wrote that it is health that is real wealth and not pieces of gold and silver. While there are similarities between these three definitions, there are also notable differences. Dubois and Aristotle focus primarily on the physical and mental dimensions of health, while Gandhi's definition incorporates broader social, environmental and spiritual factors. Additionally, while Dubois and Aristotle emphasize the importance of health responsibility and lifestyle factors in maintaining health, Gandhi places greater emphasis on the role of social and economic justice. What is a model of health and what different models exist? A model of health is a theoretical framework that describes how health is defined, achieved and maintained. It provides a way to understand the complex and multifaceted nature of health and to identify the factors that influence it. Models of health can be used to guide research, policy development and health interventions. There are several models of health, each with, with its own strengths and limitations. For example, the biomedical model of health focuses on the physical aspects of health and views health as the absence of disease or illness. It places a strong emphasis on the role of medical interventions, such as drugs and surgery, in treating illness and restoring health. In contrast, the social model of health recognizes the influence of social, economic and environmental factors on health. It views health as a product of the social and economic conditions in which people live and emphasizes the importance of addressing the underlying causes of health disparities. We need models of health because they provide a way to conceptualize and understand health and illness and guide us in developing effective interventions and policies to improve health outcomes. They help us to identify the factors that contribute to good health and the strategies that can be used to prevent illness and promote well-being. By providing a framework for understanding the complex interactions between individuals and their social and physical environments, models of health can inform public health initiatives and help us to design interventions that are tailored to the specific needs of different communities and populations. They also help to promote a more comprehensive and holistic approach to health and illness, recognizing the importance of addressing social, economic and environmental factors in addition to medical interventions. The medical model of health focuses on diagnosing and treating illness or disease using medical interventions, such as medications, surgery and other medical procedures. It views health as the absence of disease or illness and emphasizes the importance of medical expertise in diagnosing and treating illness. The medical model places a strong emphasis on biologic and physical factors that contribute to health and illness. The holistic model of health takes a more comprehensive approach to health and considers the physical, mental, emotional and spiritual aspects of a person's well-being. It views health as a balance between these different aspects and emphasizes the importance of treating the whole person rather than just their symptoms. The holistic model of health also recognizes the importance of lifestyle factors such as nutrition, exercise and stress management in promoting overall health and well-being. The biomedical model of health is similar to the medical model but it places a stronger emphasis on the biological and physical factors that contribute to health and illness. It views health as the absence of disease or illness and focuses on the diagnosis and treatment of specific medical conditions. The biomedical model 
also places a strong emphasis on medical interventions, such as medications and surgery, in treating illness and restoring health. The social model of health recognizes the influence of social, economic and environmental factors on health. It views health as a product of the social and economic conditions in which people live and emphasizes the importance of addressing the underlying cause of health disparities. The social model of health also recognizes the importance of social justice and equity in promoting health and emphasizes the need to address broader social and environmental determinants of health. What are dimensions of health? Dimensions of health help to provide a more comprehensive understanding of health beyond just the absence of disease. Some common dimensions of health include the physical health. This refers to the condition of the body, including the absence of disease or illness, fitness level and ability to perform physical tasks. The mental health. This refers to the state of a person's emotional, psychological and social well-being. It includes aspects such as mood, thoughts and behaviors. The social health. This refers to a person's ability to form and maintain meaningful relationships with others. It includes aspects such as social support, communication and interpersonal skills. The spiritual health. This refers to a person's sense of purpose, meaning and connection to something larger than themselves. It includes aspects such as faith, belief and values. The intellectual health. This refers to a person's ability to think critically, learn new things and engage in intellectual pursuits. It includes aspects such as curiosity, creativity and problem-solving skills. And last, the environmental health. This refers to the impact of the environment on a person's health, including exposure to toxins, access to clean water and air, and the overall quality of the physical environment. Each of these dimensions is interconnected and can affect a person's overall health and well-being. It is important to consider all of these dimensions when assessing and promoting health in individuals and communities. That's it for this video. I hope this topic of social medicine was interesting for you. And if you like our channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you again in the next video.